Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new here, hi, I hope you are good. I am good, but I think I have information that I need to share with the general public. This is not a hate channel, okay? I do not hate Ghana. I do not hate Ghanaians. I am not anti-Ghanaian, all right? So what happened is, I just feel like this information is going to benefit a lot of people that are not aware of this petty petty scam around because a lot of people have lost their investments a lot of people have lost their school fees of their children even themselves and some people have lost their house rent to these petty scammers so if i don't talk about it it is unfair now that it has happened to me through my niece because for me personally they couldn't get me they tried to three good times they tried to get me but they didn't succeed god didn't allow them but they finally got me and they got me through my innocent niece so this is all that went down before you insult me please watch the video to the point of understanding don't just click and say oh go back to your country i know right i know i'm not Ghanaian, but i'm human and i live here so some of these things that can happen to me the people doing it to me wouldn't be asking where are you from before they do it it's not like a targeted attacks on foreigners or on Ghanaians. this is this can happen to anybody and i feel like if you have information you'll be able to, to avoid it from happening to you so i <laughs> see the day i was coming to this place eh long story i lost my phone where while my things were being moved somebody moved my phone from the other apartments i go here I did i say anything sometimes it looks like i give a lot of information that is not true if i'm saying things is because maybe out of hundred thousand that happened to me i'll talk about 500 things that's a lot so that is why so i moved on with my life i got my kids another phone like so i can just for communication so i can always call them when i'm not at home ask them how they are doing i can wake them up to get ready for school when i'm not around to see so that was the main purpose of using that phone so when they stole it i went to buy another phone and i had someone registered this sim card for me i when i came back from nigeria because after settling all the people i wanted to settle i quickly transferred some money to that my niece's phone number so that if we need urgent money you know that kind of thing like gas or something this urgent money that won't announce that won't announce to you that oh i'm going to i'm going to be coming or maybe medication or something this urgent money so i will know that okay i can always go back to that place and get it or maybe i'm not in town and they are stranded i can easily tell my niece go get so so and so amount go to the phone booth they'll help you out and then cash out and come home sort out yourselves until i get back that was the purpose of that so i had someone um, register mobile money with that number this time i got an mtn number the other time it was vodafone vodafone and they had it registered with vodafone cash when i went to achimota just on sunday or so i left the phone with them of course is their phone so i went i didn't know that all these things will happen and then i came back and my niece said somebody called us and i was like who called you she said the person said is an mtn mobile money agent i was like oh my god oh my god because i have dealt with these guys many times god helped me i said what did the guy say to you she said oh he said uh, he's an agent he just want to help us that he mistakenly sent some money into her mobile money so he just like they blocked the sim and unblocked it so the guy helped her out i didn't think about it that way so i continued doing what i was doing and then later I was editing a video and I said, hold on, I called her and I called her. Did that person ask you for your mobile money pin? And she said, yes. I screamed. I, I said, bring your phone. And then she brought the phone. I was so correct. I checked it. They have emptied the whole amount in my niece's mobile money's number. They have emptied everything in it so i was like oh my god i screamed i screamed at her see i'm not very good when it comes to physically assaulting kids it's not my thing see i was so frustrated i was angry 
I blamed myself for not telling her, but then I expected her to be very smart and say no to that. See, a lot was ongoing on my mind, so I came on here and I screenshotted the, I called the guy, I called the so-called scammer, because he has the name written there, I called him, return the money you, you collected from my niece otherwise. He said, hey, madam, he dropped the call on me. Usually, these people are men. Before I get to telling you their tactics and how they operate, hold on. Oh. So when I called him and he dropped the call on me and the phone was still ringing, I called him. Like I called again the second time, the phone was still ringing. So I brought the number here and dropped it on my community tab. I screenshotted it from my niece's small phone and I posted it and tell people to please call this guy to bring back my money. I just wanted him to receive so many phone calls that he will be, he will be frustrated. He will run and return my money. Even if it's not all, he can return some. Because I, didn't, I don't deserve this, trust me. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. But I think it happened to me for a reason. So I felt bad. So, and then I talked about it on my community tab already. I'm getting threatened by some people. Don't you have a country? Go back to your country. Uh, you, are you not using another person's mobile name for your mobile money? Uh, do you have a Ghana card? So it has gone from people doubting me, uh, my status in Ghana, if I'm illegal or I don't understand, to me not being able to voice out my opinion. Come on, we can't do this to each other. We can't be doing this to ourselves. If I live here and something happened to me, this is not like a targeted attack at me because I'm a foreigner. This is just some random scammer who goes around. They go around doing this thing. If you have experienced them and you, you are able to avoid them, some people didn't, are not aware of this. For me, the very first day I encountered these guys, he asked, he told me, no, first thing I got a lot on my phone, like received someone about 450 CDs. When I received, I got a credit alert and I didn't know who sent it, but then I wasn't in a hurry because, and at the same time, I wasn't expecting money from anybody. And I knew that whoever sent that money would reach out to me to explain the money to me. Someone did call immediately. Oh, please, uh, me patch up. I told him I don't understand. You know, so okay, please. Um, I mistakenly sent some money into your account instead of sending it to another person's account. Please help me. I told him I saw the alert and that immediately it started to sound like someone that everything on head is life depend on it, and I can understand. So and I said, okay, you know what you do once we drop. We finish talking. End the call. Is either you send me a phone number to send the money back to, or go to MTN and tell them to withdraw the money. It was sounding very. It was sounding frustrated, devastated, and afraid. I assured him he had nothing to worry about. That his money will be intact. So just do what I've just end the call. Let me send it back. He was still delaying me. Uh, you know, you know, it's okay. Okay, you will do that. He called back immediately. He called me back immediately and said. A, a, a mobile money agent want to talk to me they did this phone call like everything was looking so real and i was so close to falling for it and all i did was to make sure that he get his money back so he can be relaxed but i didn't know that this guy was working hard to scam me so when he got i don't know it got to a point where he started to say okay is there mobile money number a uh, boot around you something just came up on me and i'm like do you know that Oh, wait i like wait do you know that god will punish you you are a scammer god will punish you go look for a job that was what i told him hey he now say no madam i said you are a scammer if you call me again i'll report your number to the police don't try me the guy didn't call me again we never talked again until later another one came again and tried me this time i was no longer a jjc i told him look i'm no longer a johnny just come now i'm aware of this so don't 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 mess with me don't try me okay i'm not that type so he, i dropped the call the other third time it happened but my niece is unaware of these things and i have not had time to teach her about these things the possibility of it because i didn't know it would happen as a matter of fact i didn't know it would happen so when it happened i was devastated i was angry and I said, in fact, I, I just wanted to see that guy face to face so I can, 
I can express myself in a very rough way. So that is, I was just looking for something to calm me down. Not him sending that money back to me alone that I needed at that time. I needed a lot more than that. I needed my money back. And at the same time, I needed to teach him a lesson. I needed to get him arrested. I needed a lot of things on answer things done to him. So with that frustration, I came online and I posted it. I talked about it and I talked about my disappointment with the telecom companies. If people have to go through documentation like this, if you don't have this, you can't have this. So why can't it be easy for people to be arresting others? And then what I'm getting is from some people, strange people that don't used to comment on my videos, uh, suddenly up on my videos commenting, go back to your country. This is not your country. I'm not dragging that very true i'm not Ghanaian, yeah but do you know that i'm human being yeah let's put it that way i'm human i'm human first of all i'm human okay and then um oh you are also doing the wrong thing you're using another person's phone number to make your calls and your mobile money yes that is very true i do not own my own ghana cards there is no shame in this it has gone from me you know being in ghana illegally according to some people this campaign of hate should stop okay if you have something personal against me by another youtuber who is bent on making sure that my smile he hates all he wants to say is my sorrow but God is turning the story around, like God is changing all of that. Because I always wish people what they wish me. You don't want to, you don't want to experience this, trust me. So for this video, I'm saying this so that someone will be away. You get it. So this is not a hate uh, or complaint. I think we need to go past the level where if I complain about the increment of my rent by a landlord whom I have barely spent a year in his apartment, if I come out complaining, it shouldn't be taken like, because I'm a foreigner, I don't have rights. A lot of people do complain about racism abroad. So if they do you, won't you feel the pain? Don't it hurt? So why can't I, a black person here in Ghana, express myself like, okay, yeah, even in this video, please. You are free to bash me, but I hope you hear my story. And I'm doing this so that other people won't fall victim, yeah? Other people, I... Even if you're asking me, go back to Nigeria, yes, I'll go. But on my way to Nigeria, please don't fall victim, okay? Don't fall victim of this petty scammer. They can make you lose a lot of money. Like, play like play, you will lose all. My, what they took from me is a lot, but it's not entirely, you know, my life is not tied around that, okay? God will always come true. So, but then, you shouldn't try to shut me up. If you are not supporting that crime, don't shut me up. Yeah, I don't have a Ghana card to register a SIM card, but I will never steal another person's money. I will never go take from other people and, you know, manipulate them, lie to them, deceive them, deceitfully withdraw their money, their hard-earned monies from their account. I will never do that. And the person that registered the number for me is fully aware of that. That is why he did it. So please, when you don't like Nigerians, eh, calm down and hear them out, okay? For me, I don't have issues with living in Ghana, with Ghanaians, in fact, I feel better here than anywhere else for now. But when there are issues like this, I think I have my right to express myself and let other people learn from it. Yo, so that's how we, we came. That is the end of this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.